Hello everyone, welcome back to the uh, Geek Apocalypse podcast for the benefit of the audio, and we also are filming this for YouTube. Um, I'm here with Ruth Wheeler, uh, did I say that right? That's right, yeah. Um, and she is uh, a Red Dwarf novel writer, which is awesome, because as I said beforehand, I feel ashamed I didn't know anything about this, and I feel like I want to cry. <laughs> um, and uh, So, um, as a thank you to her, here is her books, um, <laughs> and also you tell you on the back, but well, there it is there, and that's the trilogy, um, which we're going to talk about right now. Um, so hello, Ruth, thanks for doing, thanks for doing this interview. You're welcome. Um, so I suppose the first thing is, with us being in Dimension Jump and part of the Red Dwarf, the beauty of the Red Dwarf convention is, um, yeah. so um, I'm assuming logic dictates you were influenced by Red Dwarf? Yeah, hugely, yeah, <laughs> I'm a big fan, big fan of comedy and sci-fi, mm-hmm. so plays a big part in my books. Uh-huh. When yeah. did you, um, because I, I was saying to the guys who just interviewed Hattie in that earlier, um, saying that um, with me being 25, it was, uh, it was roughly, I was like six months old, I think, when it first aired. So um, when, when when did Red Dwarf enter into your consciousness? As a of a um, I first remember watching it when I was quite young and seeing this man with an H on his head and saying to my dad, what's that H mean? That's my first memory of Red Dwarf, really. Th- some of the first series. Not sure exactly which episode or anything, <laughs> but... I remember absolutely loving it and falling in love with it straight away and I'm hoping re-watching I, it ever since. Yeah, I know. I've, yeah, I was saying that to John that he was talking to us then series one and I'm like, unfortunately, I'm sorry, John, but I was like six yet months old. <laughs> I, I didn't hear the original, but I heard it afterwards. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. Um, it's funny you say that because uh, me and uh, Viv, who's uh, recording this video, is, um, we were talking about um, whether if we do get to talk to Chris, we're going to say, like, what um, brilliant... Obs- uh, what... Um, sort of ideas do you have for what the H means like other other than the hologram oh, like, okay, yeah. what he says. Interesting. it might be quite interesting yeah. But, um, so yeah um, I suppose uh, the next sort of logical course to, to ask you is um, how did you get involved in this is it are you um, did is, did someone from Red Dwarf tell you to do this? Or no, they're there? not actually based in the Red Dwarf universe. They're oh, just okay. they're um, but they are huge, definitely a huge influence. Mm-hmm. Um, it's based on a universe called uh, called Trucks, really, which uh-huh. is the name of a planetoid planetoid in space, uh-huh. um, which um, it's basically the home of a service station between two galaxies, and where wow. a lot of the adventures take place. Mm-hmm. And a young boy from Earth gets a job there flipping burgers uh-huh. and he doesn't realise it's on a different planet until he goes for an interview on a spaceship and things start to click, click into space into place wow. even. So, so it's not directly Red Dwarf but it, it's, <laughs> um, it's definitely got a big influence yeah I was going <laughs> to say it's influenced because obviously you know huge sci-fi influence you actually reminded me of and you know, gain off on a geek tangent but mm. um, if you've ever seen the film Spaceballs when, yeah. when they get when they get into a service station there and that scene where they parody alien yeah uh, with the thing it reminded me of that yeah that's probably in there as well yeah, <laughs> you yeah, that subconsciously, subconsciously yeah. definitely but you know it's cool um what i always like when i when i when i interview writers um especially people who write books is ask about the writing process i know it's kind of a mm-hmm. cliched question but i'm always intrigued to know with, with, with me a writer myself and not not for books but other, other stuff yeah um, um, so how do you kind of approach writing a book? Um, does it come Yeah, because everyone just has a completely different yeah, yeah, way of writing. Like like it, the yeah. Right, yeah. Yeah. Um, I think I have to be in sort of the right mood to sit and write. Some days nothing comes to mind, I do literally have block. But um, other days I'll just write a lot of dialogue. Another day I'll be in the mood for writing description. And other days I'll be literally doing some research. So mm-hmm. it's quite varied, really. Mm-hmm. That's how I approach it. I don't do a nine-to-five stint just as and when really uh-huh. as it comes to me so when you kind of like um re- recharge your creative juices as it were like do you do you just watch loads of stuff or do you kind of just sit and sit and sort of cry or <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a good excuse that, to watch some red wolf <laughs> yeah yeah it's just like yeah i need some inspiration <laughs> red wolf, um, and do no, read a lot of sci-fi as yeah, well, yeah. Write a lot and, um, and just, just get inspiration from things around me yeah. and any little thing mm-hmm. really suddenly spark up an idea and i like, must write that down and put it in the next bit Mm-hmm. It's funny you say that because a lot of people, because I'm I'm from Newcastle and so a lot of regional stuff that I do when I talk to artists and stuff, they say they say a lot of that. They say that like it's a lot about inspiration and just coming up with something that you don't even know where it comes from. Yeah. Some of the time you just feel the need you have to write it down. Um, one of the things I always like asking as well, because I know several writers that do this. Do you like have like a, a notepad at all uh, around with you all the time I, I've to write? Got, stuff um, my note on my phone, my yeah. iPhone. I just sort of jot things on there. Really, <laughs> I think of something funny that one of my characters might say. I'd be like, oh, that'd be one of his words, and I'll jot it down before yeah. I forget it. So in terms yeah, really. of you being, um, obviously you showcasing your books in Dimension Jump, how did that come about? Did you ask to, to Yeah, I just contacted books, the guys. I mean, I was here um, at the previous Dimension Jump. I just had my first book then and mm-hmm. went down really well. I had the right exact kind of audience, mm-hmm. really. 
Um, so I would just contact them again and said they're happy to have me. So that's that's very similar along to and it's yeah. perfect. So. It sounds very similar to, so to my situation because I said, oh, I have a podcast that's about geeks and I really love Red Dwarf and like, yeah, sure, come down. Yeah. It sounds very, it sounds very, yeah, it sounds very similar. Yeah, everyone seems similar. very supportive of each other, which is yeah. really good. Yeah, yeah. Um, so you said you, you've been, uh, uh, my next question was going to be was your first dimension jump or you said you've been to the last one. Um, so I've been before as an attendee as oh, well. Oh, right, okay, yeah, that. I was going to ask you that. Yeah. Yeah, so um, in terms of, because this is my first one, which I'm ashamed to say. <laughs> um, so I was I was interested to know, like, your experience at dimension jump when you were around and, you did, and, and you've been obviously attending and now you're doing this sort of Yeah, I enjoy both sides of it. Yeah. yeah uh, what in particular, great. do you like the Q&As or the photographs? Or what's um, what particular do you like? Don't really go for the photographs, more Q and A's, um, collecting autographs and just, just the atmosphere really, mm-hmm. just general um compared to various other science fiction events I think it's really laid back and everyone's really friendly and yeah. Just enjoy the whole buzz, really. Yeah, I have to say, even like from the build up to. The yeah, I mean, the, yeah, I've just I've been like a little kid since about nine a.m. today. Yeah. <laughs> I've literally just been running around. It's like Christmas Eve. Yeah, right, it is know? literally that because I mean, um, as I said to the guys, I mean, um, uh, uh, for for me, Red Dwarf was be, was um, the 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 show that put my family together with having siblings that were both older than me. We all sat and sat and um, and congregate to watch Red Dwarf. Yeah, oh, that's um, cool. so that's pretty cool that that that, that, that happens. Um, and also one of the things we used to argue, which I'll ask you because we meant we're sticking on Red Dwarf, is uh, mm-hmm. favorite character. Lister. Lister. Yeah. And um, what drew you to Lister in particular? I don't know. Just um, <laughs> makes me laugh and it's just. <laughs> Yeah, because he's the most be, human, most anti-hero kind of yeah, person. Just brilliant. Definitely an anti-hero. Yeah. And in the novels as well, it comes across really yeah. well. Because so. um, I, I was kind of hoping you just like he's cu- he's curry eating. <laughs> oh yeah, I like my lager too. My curry, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can relate to That's that. Awesome. <laughs> um, yeah. So um, I, what I was going to say before, when you said about influences, I noticed on your thing it was a it was a quote about Douglas Adams. Is yeah. Doug, does Douglas Adams have a role in your influence? At all? Yeah, definitely big influence. Mm-hmm. Yeah, with the humor side of it and a few of the concepts, kind of. Yeah, subconsciously in there, I think. Yeah. But yeah, I love his work. Um, yeah, I got into Douglas Adams when about 17, 18. I was just addicted mm-hmm. to his work. That's cool. Um, so I suppose in a nutshell, because I, mean, I know I'm, I hate that I'm pressed for time, but um, mm-hmm. in a, if you could, in a nutshell, describe in uh, sort of what your what your novels are about, mm-hmm. it, for want of a better phrase. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, they basically follow um, a young boy from Earth and his adventures starting out as very polite, intelligent, geeky guy that's not even been out of his hometown, basically, and how he, his world just totally goes crazy, and he meets all these aliens and um, conspiracy theorists, and he tries to find out more about the planet he finds himself on, there's just so much out there for him, and, it's, and in the second book, one of his alien friends that he meets gets exiled to a prison planet, and it's his job to get him back, but it's an impenetrable planet, so... There's a lot going on there. I really, want, I really want <laughs> without giving too many, sp- <laughs> without giving too many spoilers. <laughs> but a lot. Um, right. the third book, he's got his biggest challenge ever. He has to save the Earth from being taken over, mm. and his parents still don't know. So. Yeah, that sounds great. <laughs> I literally just spent the entire time listening to you going. That sounds like something about <laughs> you. So you seem to be in the There's right a lot place. of characters and a lot of uh, yeah. threads going. On, but. Um, so I suppose in terms of, I'll show that again to the camera just in <laughs> case. Um, for the, for obviously people who will be listening to this who aren't at Dimension Jump and aren't able to buy this right now. So for those, it, it, where is it available um, if they can't get it here? Um, at the moment, if you just go directly to my website, which is trucks.com, which is T-R-U-X-E.com, mm-hmm. and you can buy copies direct from there. I'll and they'll be I'll signed put, as I'll, well. I'll put a link on my site. Oh, that's brilliant. Thank you. Yeah. Um, so yeah. Oh yeah, that was something we've, we've got to mention. Yes, the, third the man book. behind it, the woman behind the camera. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so it's it coincides um, with the, the third release. When yeah. aliens p- uh, play trumps is mm-hmm. um, being launched today on May the fourth, which is another cool coincidence. Yeah. So. Which is cool because, like, as we there's so many cons happening today because uh, uh, yeah. some other friends of mine um, are doing a, a con in, in North Shields, which is near where I'm from. And uh, so it's really good. It seems like the, 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 the cosmos has gathered together yeah. to, in order. And, and There's so a lot going on. I hope that really helps with your book and, yeah, thank you and everything. So um, in terms of, um, in terms of uh, like, um, responses to the book, how, how have you found it um, you know, when you remounted the books? Really good, yeah. yeah. yeah especially now I've got the three out. I've got mm-hmm. a steady following and um, had some good feedback. Mm-hmm. So. 
So there's the f- is the future to keep writing more because this seems is this all that that's, this is all based on one like, yeah that's universe, all in it? one yeah. universe. There's actually an extra book in there. Mm-hmm. It's like a freebie, um, which now got into the end of book two, I think it is, or book three. Yeah. And um, that was a little one-off Christmas special I did a few years ago. Mm-hmm. Um, that's that's sort of its entire universe, but I am working on something else now. Something awesome. Unrelated, but still sci-fi. Mm-hmm. Are you, do you do any? Uh, do you do any? I know I've never planned on asking this, but do you do any book signings at all, or do you go around doing book stuff? Um, yeah, I do that? various events. Yeah. yeah, different sci-fi events, lot two events. Um, I've got a signing at a bookshop coming up at the end of the month. Big Green Bookshop on the eighteenth of May. Awesome. That's in London. So. Well, I was going to end on because I know I'm pressed for time because the guys are going to want to use the room soon. So, um, what I wanted to ask, what I wanted to say was, if you're ever in uh, the Newcastle area, please let me know, and um, I will pass you my card. And okay, we can, we'll we can do. Do, a, do a full one. Okay, It'd brilliant. Cool. Sounds good. Um, so yeah, um, thank you so much to Ruth Wheeler. Um, thanks thank so much for being on, and please get her book, everybody. Mm-hmm. Um, so thanks so much for coming on. I appreciate it. And thank you. Thanks, too. and have fun. Thank you. <laughs>